Hi, this is Kelly Shabari with Hot Movies for Her, and this is 6.9 Questions with... James Darling. Hi, James. Hey. Um, how long have you been in the business, and how did you get in? Uh, I've been in the business, let's see, I, guess I started in 2009, so it's been four years. And I did my first shoot with Crash Pad Series uh, with Shine Lewis Houston. Very cool. Um, and... Uh, do you work on a pretty regular basis, mostly on camera, or do you mostly do sex work, or is it kind of like a combination of both? Um, I do a lot of different things. I've been in a lot of different aspects of the sex industry. Um, around the same time that I started doing porn, I also was an escort, and I've done phone sex, I've done pro dom stuff. Um, I briefly tried a couple cam shows, but it's just not really my forte. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, I can't yeah. be hard. I've tried doing it, and I've just been confused every single time, so I just yeah. stopped doing it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very difficult skill. Um, but yeah, and then I've also done quite a bit of stuff behind the camera as well. I used to be a production assistant at Keep.com, and, um, and now I run my own company, uh, FTM Fucker. Yes. Yeah. And when did, when did FTM Fucker launch? Uh, it's almost been, it'll be a year in July. Uh, it's a so, very cool site, by the way. Thank Congratulations. You. <laughs> and you guys, you just won. Yeah, I won uh, one of the honored websites of the year from the Feminist Porn Awards. And uh, it was me, Wolf Hudson, and I can't remember what the third one was. Uh, photo something. If you were not in sex work, uh, what do you think you'd be doing? Well, um, I do have two non uh sex jobs, uh, you know, I, I manage a spa uh, that's uh, also a sex club for men, so I guess that's still sex industry. Mm -hmm. um, but you I manage mean, it? Uh, yeah, I manage it on the weekends, um, and then I also deliver pizzas, you know, it's a porn stereotypes crew, but... That's, yeah. that's gotta be like the most, like, the, like if they're a fan of yours and you show up with pizza, they'd be like, whoa. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm waiting for the day for that to happen. That, well, if I'm ever in San Francisco, I'm going to find out where you're delivering from. I'm just going to call just so you come over. Yeah. Um, uh, what is the most common misconception that you found about men and women in sex work? And sex work, I mean, a lot of people um, have a lot of assumptions about uh, what sex workers are like. You know, uh, a lot of people think that we're you know, constantly sexually available and like always like down to fuck and like, uh, you know, like insatiable sluts, which I mean, we are, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of us are, but like, you know, sometimes we, you know, aren't always on like all the time. And yeah, sometimes we're tired. Yeah. And you know, also like a lot of like slut shaming and like sex negativity, like ideas of like what it means to be a sex worker. Um, I mean, really at the end of the day, it's, it's a job, you know, and mm -hmm. it's, a very varied job, and there's very many ways to be in the sex industry and be a sex worker. And, uh, is there anything, um, either on camera or off camera, that you haven't done yet that you're like, okay, this is just one more thing I really want to do that I haven't had the opportunity? Oh, you know, um, yeah, I'm still pretty new, and uh, what's the great thing about running my own site is I can, you know, shoot a lot of what I want to. Um, so anytime I have an idea, if I, you know, I can usually develop it into a scene if I want to, and. Uh, you know, um, something I've been wanting to do is uh, I would like to, to work with more trans women. Uh, it's, it's not something that I've done very much of, and um, I really love other trans people, and I'd like to see more um, trans guy and trans women porn. Yeah, so that, that would actually be very, very hot. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, um, so is there anything that you can offer to vanilla couples, maybe, that might be a little bit shy or not really uh, comfortable with like being super sexual? Um, one thing I, you know, like I also write an advice column on originalplumbing.com called Ask a Porn Star, and it's uh, directed at trans guys, but I feel like a lot of the information is really relevant to anybody, and what most of my questions end up really being about at the core is about communication. You know, it's a, it's a really hard thing to be able, you know, like when we are raised in a culture that tells us, you know, that we should be ashamed of our desires and stuff, it's really hard to talk about them. Um, so it's really important, I, I feel, to practice um, asking for what you want, you know, and like giving a lot of thought to that and just experimenting with a lot of different things until you find what works for you mm -hmm. and like learning to be able to tell your partner about what those things are that really turn you on and what you're interested in exploring. Yeah, because actually I, I've heard a couple of other people mention the communication thing, yeah. but if they're shy, mm -hmm. like how can they practice? Um, one thing that I personally find helpful is like if you have trouble telling somebody something is like to literally speak it out loud you know write it down and then like 
practice actually saying it out loud. Like, even if the other person's not there? Even if the, yeah, well, right. you know, before the other person's not there. You can say in the mirror, you can, you know, be walking your dog or something, and like, you know, you can just uh, practice like saying things that um, you have trouble uh, saying to other people. And, you know, and, you know, and if they're really shy, like sometimes maybe writing a letter or a note or something, an email might be a good way to like start a conversation. Yeah. Okay, yeah. very cool. And then, like, practice makes perfect, right? And more practice questions. does really help, yeah. 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 Um, and the last question is, James Darling, what makes you a feminist? What makes me a feminist? Well, I've been a uh, feminist identified for a long time, way before I ever did porn and even before I was trans, and I feel like my feminism is my commitment to dismantling the oppressive structures in our society um, in my daily life, and sometimes that just means that the way I move through the world, I try to recognize my privilege as being seen as a you know, passing white man and the way that my actions and my life impacts other people and recognizing the ways that our oppressions intersect in our society. Uh, and yeah, being a feminist to me is uh, being committed to social justice and changing the world um, in even small ways. And you know, I don't feel like porn is exempt from that and you know I feel like there's definitely a, a way to make porn that's feminist and a way that that, that work can be um, anti-oppression. Very cool. Yeah. Well James Darling, thank you so much for joining us on Hot Movies for Her and I think that we have plenty of your very very hot sexy scenes on our site. So thank you very much for having me. Thank yeah. you.